So, it's Mega Mel. I'm out for a run. I'm going to talk to you today about Chapter 2 from my book, Exercise for Life. And before we get into that, I thought I'd give you a quick look at where I am. I'm in Palmer Park. There's the trail. When you look up here from the road down below, you think there can't be a trail up there. We got a lot of beautiful rock formations. I'm kind of on the side of a cliff up here on the bluffs. And a great, great trail. It's Palmer Park, as I mentioned. Sorry about the movement of the camera. But it's a beautiful day out here on Saturday before Christmas. It's only about 39 degrees, but with the sun out and not any wind, it's typically excellent weather. Great day for running. There I was, Chapter 2, Run for Fun, in Arizona, staring 35 straight in the face. Of course, not like 68 today, but 68 years old, but 35 staring right in the face of it, thinking, how can I get in shape without doing any exercise? And I thought about it quite a bit, and I chose running. Why did I choose running? Because running is one of the easiest things to do to get in shape. It's cheap. Some $39 Sauconis. Make sure they have a good heel counter, some good cushioning. They fit well. They're not cramping your toes. And I like the kind with very knobby treads because I like to run on these trails. It's, running is also one of the most fun things you can do. You probably won't realize it until you start getting into it and do it for a while, but it's really a lot of fun. A lot of people say they don't want to run because it's too hard. Too hard? Let me explain it to you. You start walking and slowly begin to move your legs faster. That's how you run. I don't know what the hard part is. And so if you do that, you can get into it. And my tip then on running is to start running a short distance at a moderate speed, something that feels comfortable, but you're not walking, you're running, and then slowly build up over a six-month time period. You may only run a block that first time. You may run a block in 10 feet the second time. Slowly build up within your capabilities, and after six months, you should be able to get up to running three, four miles at a time, and maybe do that three or four times per week and no more than 30 minutes per run. That's all you need for your, for your health, for your aerobic conditioning. Your heart and your lungs are going to really appreciate it. Now, yeah, running's not going to do anything for the upper body, but we can talk about that later. There's other things you can do for your upper body. But for health, running is an excellent thing to do. So eventually, after you've built up, over that six month period, maybe a year, you'll be able to go out and run three, four, and five miles and come home and say, I, I could go for a three or four mile walk. I feel just fine. I'm not fatigued. I don't need a nap. I feel good. And one other tidbit, one other side note about running, it's actually also good for your mental health. You will begin to feel better about yourself and therefore be more fun to be around. So finally, here's my cartoon. Wow, I thought running would be hard, but starting slow worked for me. Starting slow worked for me. And that applies to everybody, everyone, and I just want you to take that with you, think about it, and if you want to get in shape, try running. That's chapter two of my Exercise for Life book. I'm going to try to do the next 11 chapters, not 10, whatever we got left, on a, in a different cool place to run and hike around Colorado Springs. For today, that's a mega mill. Oh.